This is the world's biggest lure. And today, we're gonna to be attempting to fish it. We are on the shores of Lady Bird Lake here in downtown Austin, Texas, where you've got bikers, walkers, and some anglers. And we're gonna be getting their take on what they think of this six foot giga lure that we purchased all the way from Australia that shipped to our doorstep here in Texas. All right, how much are you on from me today, Austin? <coughs> um, I'm already coughing, dude. I'm Can I take a picture of your lure really quick? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Here, I'll hold it up for you. I love that, that's so awesome. Yeah, thank you. We're gonna see if we can get something real big today. Oh. Is he here? Do you know? He's at Colorado River, right in the middle of Lady Bird Junction. That's what's up. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back with him. We're gonna see if we can get Moby Dick today. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Have a good one, brother. <laughs> yeah. Going for a big one. You sure? Decent, right? No? <laughs> He's shaking his head. He's like, that was pathetic. Okay, you find your parents. We're gonna go see if we can catch that uh, seven pounder you left for us. Bruce, what a guy. He bet that I couldn't cast it, but I got, how, how far was that, Bruce? 30 feet? He's, he's being generous. It was probably five feet. He's, be, he's giving me, <laughs> he's putting on for the camera. No, it was probably five feet, in all honesty. In the last video, we surpassed the 10,000 like mark, where you guys voted that we take this lure to an actual fishery and try to catch something huge. Whether it be, I don't know, uh, a shark, a beluga whale, or maybe we bring it to go catch the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. You guys drop a comment below. We're gonna make it happen. But for now, let's see what people think of this enormous piece of fishing equipment. I'm excited, stick with us, stay tuned, and let's see if we can crank. Austin, Texas, if you've been here, you know how unique this city is. It's the, how some put it politically, blueberry and tomato soup. It's a very eccentric city, I like Austin. It's a great place not only to visit, but Lady Bird Lake's also great fishing. I'm not sure if there's anything big enough to eat this, but we gotta find out. Oh, nice dirty diaper, lovely. The Austin, Texas fauna, dirty diaper, pre-rolls, and water bottles. Gotta love it. I'm surprised there's no like. Oh. There it goes. We lost our bill. Well, that was quick. We lost our bill, but I think our lure is still fine. Need some seriously heavy line for this thing. It's so heavy. Well, I guess it's now a top water. It's a little shallow. I think this is the panfish hole. Drift out there a little bit. How's it going? Good. What are y'all doing? Oh, uh, just fish. Just going for something big, you know, something real, real big. Wow. Do you know if there's any big fish in here? No idea. Oh, shoot. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I've never seen it in the back like that. Yeah, it's just the hard part is just getting it out there, you know. Sure. Gotta let it drift. There she goes. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. We seem to have lost our action a little bit. No more bill. That's a bummer. How's it going? It's a big fish with bill. Absolutely. The biggest. What's that? Oh, we're just seeing how big of a fish we can catch today with the giant lure. Yeah. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Did you try calling me? Yeah, I tried calling you. Uh, are you still at the bridge? Yeah, we're still fishing the bridge. We're, we're catching quite a few fish, just nothing big yet. Cool, when you get a stopping point, do you mind help me out with something? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, um, I, I, is there, I'm gonna see if I can pull off on like a little open spot closest to the bridge and you'll see me. Okay, are you on, which side are you on? Are you on the downtown side or the no. opposite side? Uh, the, 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 the picnic and dog walking and weed smoking side. Uh, okay, so that would be the downtown side? No, 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 the park side. I guess it's oh, every okay. side, right? <laughs> The weed yeah, smoke so inside I is... Say, I was about to say you're not being very specific. <laughs> Just send me the pin and I'll, I'll head that way. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, this? Oh, thanks. Yeah, you can take a picture. We're after that big mama today. <laughs> it's right in here, man. Yeah, pretty weird, huh? Just so happens that my buddy Grant Langmore is out in, out in the bird today. He's doing a bit of guiding. Uh, 
What's up? It's a big shark. So it's like you might be able to catch. For real? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're big enough for this, you reckon? Oh yeah. That might be a little small. As long as the crocodiles don't. I need bigger. I need bigger troubles though. If the crocodiles get to it first. You might be in trouble. Ah, oh, you might be right. We're gonna see, man. I don't know. Are you guys with Rebella? <laughs> no, but we should be. <laughs> no, just free app. We're just a walking billboard, honestly. <laughs> Y'all catching any? Yeah, we just got here. Nice. You fishing this? John B. Yeah, man. How's oh, it going? Crap, I'm good. What's man? up, brother? <laughs> good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I saw you got. Was that you guys fishing the pond over there? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Any any luck or? Uh, not today. Oh. Usually, I will catch pull a nice three pounder out of there. It's pretty hot. It's weird. Yeah. It should be a little bit cooler than this, right? Yeah, in Texas, it tends to be bipolar. Yeah. Right? Well, I was downsizing today, hoping that it'd be a little bit cooler and they'd eat it, but yeah. they weren't about it, but. Hey, it was nice meeting you, man. You too, man. Take care. All right. What's going on? <laughs> thanks, man. What's that? Good luck on the new hinge picture. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. My hinge score is great. Don't forget, don't forget the thumbs up. Oh, yeah, absolutely, bro. I don't know if that was an insult or if he was being nice, but. Big Bass Energy. Yeah, man. I had a dream last night about big bass. So I trucked all the way down here to one of my favorite big bass factories, yeah. tied on my favorite big bass lure. And I, and I just, I don't know, I came correct with that, that BBE. Uh, yeah, I put a couple in the figure eight and dude, just so many pedestrians, they all spook them. Bunch of kooks, you know how it is, ATX. <laughs> dude, it's sturdy. How sturdy is that? Can you do me a favor for the video? Yeah. Can you swim this f***er like as far as you possibly can? I had the bill on there, but it snapped. Yeah, no, some kid named Bruce wanted me to toss it 30 yards out there. <laughs> and my first cast, the thing goes, the thing goes, it's gone. Yeah, that's what's up. Later, fellas. You for real are a guide, bro. From the bank and boat. I got a new swim bait. <laughs> Yo, just finesse the new, finesse the... <laughs> Yo, it's a Binkle 780. Grant has got my six foot lure. He's taking it all the way out to the middle of the lake because I can't cast very far. And uh, we're gonna see how it swims back. Maybe we catch a fish, maybe we hook a kayaker, I don't know. But regardless, this is uh, definitely the longest retrieve ever on a six foot lure. And we're doing it here in Austin, Texas. By the way, the reactions have been awesome. Everyone seems to be pretty nice. Um, I'm sure that might change. ATX always has a, a bit of a mixture of folks down here. They're either super nice or they want to punch you right in the face. But, <laughs> dude, look how far that thing's going on. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, <laughs> that's good, perfect. We're setting up the bait perfectly, right in the strike zone. We're gonna have a kayak or a canoe come right here. I'm gonna twitch that bait right in front of them. Perfect, right in the strike zone. And by strike zone, I mean I'm probably gonna knock them unconscious. Bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, for real. We're, uh, we're out here doing some stupid stuff today. Fishing a six foot lure. Is on the... that what that is? Yeah, that's what that six is. Foot yeah, yeah. <laughs> Putting it right in the strike zone for him. Bacon! No way. That's so sick. <laughs> no way. Grant's hooked up all the way out there, right next to my giant lure. Dude, no way. <laughs> what a legend. Isn't that a nice Can one? He just caught that one. I'll have a picture of my husband yeah. will die. Yeah, take a picture. He, he guides out here. He's a uh, he's uh ATX's finest. Yeah, we paid him to watch him catch fish. Yeah, I know. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I've taken I've taken two cats and both cats I caught him. <laughs> you, yeah. You so do you call him up and you're like, hey man, I want to go out in the water with you and just watch you fish or oh, that's awesome. That's <laughs> so hey, sick. Hey, 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 can I see it right there? Damn, okay. ATX is alive today. Right now. Is the drone in focus? Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> There's so much going on right now. Right in the strike zone. Let's see if we get a bite here. Got a nice one coming up on us. Looks like a. I don't know, what is that, Caleb? Is that a red Cubera? Do they, do they even see it? They don't even see it. They have no idea. We tried to line it up so someone in a boat would... They didn't even notice it. <laughs> no, they didn't even... Oh, it's Austin, bro. This kind of stuff happens all the time for them, probably. 
in all honesty, they're probably like, oh, just another day in ATX. We're crossing the bridge right now. Gonna go check out the other side. Maybe there's better fishing over here. So far, we've definitely turned some heads. There's some people too that are just like looking from afar and taking video. This is great. I cannot stress to you guys at home how heavy this thing actually is. I'm also so puny too, so that doesn't help. But overall, this thing, I mean, it goes off the inside, but this thing is a lug. You know, a few swipes, few misses here and there. I think I just gotta upsize the hooks. It's just not sticking. One thing I am catching though is a lot of people's attentions. God, it hurts so bad. There we go. All right, got her. It's a process just to get this thing back on dry land. I'm absolutely drenched in sweat. Hey, excuse me. Do you know if there's any fish in here? Do you know if there's any fish in here? Like what, like bass or? Like anything big enough to eat this, you think, or no? No? Should I go smaller, you think? Yeah, man. Okay, all right, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I haven't gotten anything about here since 4 a.m. and dude, not a bite. <laughs> oh, it's wrong. Was that? The coast? Oh, nothing that big in here though, huh? All right. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Have a good one. I had some lady stop me and point at the lure and she's like, now that is the weirdest shit I've seen all day, which says a lot coming from Austin, Texas, which uh, I believe has the mantra of keep Austin weird. So I'm honored. I'm honored they think my lure is that weird. <laughs> what do you think? Can I get a picture? Yeah, absolutely. We're out here for Moby Dick and Loch Ness and Jaws. What that? What's that? What is that? The lure? Moby Dick. Moby Dick, like the whale. Yeah. We're after... Oh, that's what you're gonna. Get. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, gotta go big for the Moby Dick and Jaws and all those oh, yeah. sea creatures. That's pretty great. Yeah, we're just testing. That's what I'm hoping. Are there shark in here? About to find out. Some of the gars might be big enough. Yeah, that is a good point. Honestly, have a good one, guys. Excuse me. Do you guys know if you can fish off the bridge? I don't know. Okay. I think it's pretty impressive, though. Thanks. I don't know, right? Uh, as of now, nothing. We're, we're filming a, a docu series called uh, "Idiots with Giant Lures," so we're uh, we're just seeing if we can maybe get that. But we didn't know if we could make a cast. I don't want to like. Don't want to be like. Don't want to Idiot goes to jail in Austin. Exactly. Yeah, neck someone in the kayak. I know. I know. Hey, we'll watch. I haven't seen any signs saying nothing. Okay. Well, if it's illegal, watch out for me in the news. Yeah. Have a good one. See you. The biggest. <laughs> biggest fish. Uh, uh, maybe a wide mouth bass. The, uh, actually, we're going after the uh, the largest mouth bass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Moby Dick. All right, Moby too. Dick. That's what everyone says, I think. Yeah, we're Rap thinking. Uh, uh, Rapala. Yeah, but those guys suck, cool. so. Cool. Have a good one, brother. Yeah. Nice and subtle. Nothing like fishing the duck pond with a six foot lure. I also want to mention, this video is just kind of a for fun warm up. I'm a man of my word. We're gonna fish this thing. I just want to do it right. I actually want to make it happen. If we're gonna travel all the way to some crazy destination and try to catch a giant, whatever, shark, porpoise, maybe a dolphin. I don't, is that legal? Can you catch a dolphin? Yeah, okay. Mahi, I'm not talking about Mahi Mahi, I'm talking about oh, like, yeah. like Flipper. Yeah. Is that show? Okay. Yeah. Well, whether, whatever we catch, I want to do it right. So I want to plan it out. I want to make sure it's 100% ready to go. But this is a nice little warm up. Also too, we gotta improve the bill. Today it broke on the first cast. Like, how classic is that? My luck. <clears throat> oh, it broke it. Cut, that's it. I broke it. We were setting up a B-roll shot and I just broke the lure. It was, how, this thing is falling apart today. What happened? I have my, I have a, I have my masters in civil engineer. Oh, wait a minute. Is it double jointed? No, it broke. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, I see. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh yeah, no, it broke, broke. Is this the last of our giant lure? I cannot believe this. Caleb's like, this is always Caleb's great idea. You did this one other time, didn't you? Oh, it's when I flipped the Can-Am. Caleb's like, we filmed the video a long time ago where we were pretty much done. And Caleb's like, hey, hit this, hit this turn going like 90 miles an hour. So I hit it and I flipped and almost died. Sure enough, we were on our way to leave. And Caleb's like, hey, take one more cast for B-roll. I'm like, okay, sure. I yeeted out there, as I have been doing, and she snapped in half. But I'm trying to be more of a half glass full individual going into 2023, although this may seem like not a good thing, I'm kind of thinking, what if now, what if we turn this thing into a jointed jerk bait? I don't know, drop a comment down below. This kind of sucks. We can fix it for sure and definitely make it so it works again. But uh, apparently I was swinging a little too hard on those casts. It's not great, but I guess it is what it is when you start eating lures that aren't meant to be eaten. <laughs> Sad day. At least we got the footage that we did though, man. What the hell, bro? <sighs> It's a sad day. Pour one out in the comments for the old Giga Lure. She, uh, she did not do too well in Austin waters, but you know what? That's okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm glad this happened at the end of our session, opposed to the beginning. I was telling Caleb, I would absolutely be livid if we drove three hours from DFW to here, trying to get people's thoughts and opinions of the big lure, and it ended up breaking on the first cast. Oh, I guess it did kind of break on the first cast, but not as bad as that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. This was something a little bit lighthearted, fun, and maybe slightly different opposed to the videos we film normally but i want to try to incorporate more content like this on the channel and if you enjoy it be sure to like the video comment down below but let me know what you thought of the video or, or you know just share what you ate today for breakfast uh tell me about your week i don't care i love hearing from you guys' comments and i read just about every single one and i absolutely mean that i'm trying to do better about responding to them but i do read a whole lot of y'all's comments but uh yeah we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board for the giant lure because we have to make sure this thing fishes and catches a giant fish and unfortunately these big lures as you could probably guess are pretty rare i had to get this thing shipped all the way from australia to u.s soil and i don't know if there's going to be another one out there so i'm gonna have to figure out a method to fix this if you know of anyone dm me or dm them tell them that john is in desperate need of a giant lure repair thank you in advance i'm peace and out signing out thank you guys for watching and as always folks keep fishing never stop